Hey guys, welcome back to the Avoiding Broke podcast with me, Jermaine. And so, you know, today I just want to share with you a lesson about the importance of thinking longer term, which a great mentor shared with me and is really helping me and the Avoiding Broke team work through this whole cost of living crisis, helping to manage ourselves a little bit better as we move through day to day and try to figure out how best to help ourselves in the future. You know, one of the things that we sometimes see with humanity, with mankind, is we sometimes think a little bit more about the immediate term. So what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? You know, how can I have this thing in a month's time? And when we go through life, and we all do it, we have this tendency to create targets in the very short term. Now, of course, when you do the same with your money, it can create some different challenges which we then need to face up to. So, for example, if you go out and buy something that's really unaffordable or take a trip that's going to take you a few months to recover from, it has two very important um, impacts. So one is that it uses up the resources that you've got right now. But number two is it also commits you to having to potentially struggle in the future. And so when we have this shorter term thinking, or you may have heard of it as recency bias, recency bias or immediate gratification, there are lots of different terms for it. When we have that kind of focus, it can sometimes create some challenges for us. Now those challenges only get made worse during a cost of living crisis, because of course what happens is you need to have money over a longer period of time. But of course you don't, because we spent it maybe in the short term. And so we don't really have the money to cope with the unexpected challenges that come over a longer period of time. And this is the beauty of what was shared with me. And this is this is the nugget that I want to share with you. If you think about your short term, as in you close your eyes and you really imagine What do I think is short term? What is the smallest time horizon I'm trying to plan for? Typically, we might look and think it could be a week, it could be a month. Some people may say short term is three months. You know, often it's going to be in that one month or three month kind of category. Well, what I was encouraged to do many years ago was just think of short term as instead being a year minimum. Ideally, think of it even short, even longer than that, but really make your short term more like one year minimum. Make your medium term something more resembling three to five years, and then you make your long term more like 10 years. So stretch out your time horizon, because what it does is it gets you thinking differently about what you need to have in place to look after yourself. So, of course, if your short term becomes a year, you're thinking differently. You're thinking about how to be able to provide food for a year, shelter for a year, basic clothing for a year. You know, how to meet your utility costs for a year. You're thinking that little bit differently about the same topic and it can really change your behaviours. And one of the best things, the best examples I can give of how we have really benefited from that, and I think it's really saved us, is we were desperate to try to have some kind of holiday, particularly over the summer. Really desperate, really keen to do this. But once I kept challenging that thinking based on short term being at least a year, and in a year, interest rates, I think, are going to go up at least a couple more times. And in a year, Energy bills are going to definitely be going up in October and they could go up even further still. I just couldn't justify the the holiday, the leisure expense, when in the short term I thought there were going to be so many challenges. I've just mentioned a couple, but that's before you look at things like um, housing, that's before you look at any other debt, that's before you look at the cost of food and all the rest of it we can always add in and it's the same kind of argument. Thinking longer about thinking, looking at the short term and thinking longer about that time horizon. It has, gives you a way of challenging the behaviour. It gave us a way of looking at our options differently, choosing a different path to go down 
and it, it's going to give us a little bit more protection. And I know protection isn't always the most glamorous thing, but you know, when that protection could be the difference between feeding your child or not, clothing them, giving them shelter. And as a parent, I always think about providing for my family. When that could be the difference, it's so important to make sure that you can absolutely provide the key things that are needed. And if you can think longer, think over a longer time horizon for your short term, it gives the base of challenging your thinking. Now I know guys, it won't always be easy. And for some, if you're just making ends meet, if you're just get it, just surviving, just getting by, you're gonna say it's not possible to start thinking much further out. It's not possible to think for a year when I'm already struggling to think for a week. It's not possible to think for a year when I'm already struggling to think for a month. But all I'm saying is just give it a try. You may be really surprised by how thinking about a longer time horizon for the short term, by how it can just really challenge you and encourage you to get to your optimal thinking. You, it will really help you get to a better place where you are going to be thinking about how to protect yourself in a much more practical, sensible way. And it just helps prepare you for those unexpected challenges, which is a something, a type of preparation all of us need and massively can benefit from. So guys, that's the thought I want to leave you with for today. I hope you have a wonderful day ahead, a wonderful week ahead. Obviously, catch us on all socials through the week and look forward to being with you for the next podcast. Take care, guys. Have a great week. Bye.